Hey, peace and love and black power. Peace and love and black power to the people. This is Underground Warrior TV. Y'all know what it is. I'm back, black, banging on this beast. Constantly, always. Because the beast is sleazy. Boy, listen. You got to be like two heads of the game when you're dealing with the beast. You feel what I'm saying? Because it be putting down so much extraordinary work on the people who can't see. You feel me? Just happen to be my people, you know? You know, we can't see. You know, I don't know what it is, you know? But uh, I can see. So I'm the perfect man for the job. Job. I'm from the streets. I know how it go. You feel me? I seen it all. You know what I'm saying? That lifestyle ain't nothing to brag about. Going to penitentiary is nothing to brag about. But I've been through the struggle. You know what I'm saying? Being rich. Being poor, I'm back poor because I took myself away from the streets. I'm trying to grind right here. So, you know, I'm doing it from the grassroots. I just grew up one day, you know. Yeah, I be seeing brothers and shit, you know, right here in the ghetto. I be sitting they up, you know, looking good, plushed up, riding around looking good. Can't do it no more. I care about the peeps. My eyes open. I care about my peeps now. You feel me? I gave a fuck about my peeps back then because I, I wasn't really the type of brother that uh, just dog people out. I'm, I'm fair. You know, I'm fair. That's why, you know, I could still, you know, tap in and holler at certain people. You know what I'm saying? Because I was loyal to the, you know, to the, to, the, to the program. You know what I'm saying? I was putting in work. You know what I'm saying? Putting in work for us, getting money. I ain't never been no game bang. I want y'all to thank that when I say putting in work. I mean putting in work. You know, hustling, you know what I'm saying? Doing what I got to do to survive, you know, which most of us black brothers and sisters, we don't want to do, you know, uh, we don't want to be in the streets forever. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't really want to do this. You feel me? We don't want to be in the streets. I'm not going to compete with this train y'all to come through my city. I'm going to see if the white guy that's driving this train going to hold the, the buck, the uh, horn. Yeah, he's holding the horn. He's holding the horn. Racist. You know, it's coming through a black town, so he hold the horn like that. I've been through the white towns, and their trains roll with the traffic. So when you go to the white towns, trains will never block the the traffic. When it comes, it comes across the black truck uh the black hood it comes right across but i went to the white neighborhood their trains is not that long and they go with the traffic not, nobody's blocked off or they have a train on top you know what i'm saying on the bridge like you know what i mean but anyway um i'm doing this you know i took myself away from the so-called lime life of the streets you know, the streets don't love nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's a hectic, um, it's a hectic way of living. You know what I'm saying? Because you you dodging too many things coming at you. You know what I'm saying? A soldier dies for but once. A soldier dies a thousand deaths. I know y'all heard that before. But that's what that's like, man. You know, living that street life, that hustle life. You know what I'm saying? Getting that money life. You know, I'm grinding on this right here. Cause I care about the peeps. That's why I'm coming. I'm the man for the job. Even though now they got, I'm not the type of dude on YouTube with, with a lot of views. I don't have a lot of um, subscribers, but I got the FBI sitting across my house every Sunday, every Sunday. So I don't know what that's all about. You know, so I haven't done anything. I haven't broken any laws. You know, I'm clean. You know, so I don't be in the streets no more. I remove myself. I can't be on YouTube, you know, talking black this and black that, and I still got my foot. Come on, man. In in the underground world, that don't that don't mix. That's a recipe for the disaster. And people like to have scam on black people. A lot of black people, they thrive on that. If you listen to these YouTubers. They thrive on celebrity downfalls. First of all, I only use celebrities when I speak on here as a similar tool to prove my thesis or my 
my um my premise on what I was speaking on. Because I don't give a fuck about a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's have been some rap um so-called celebrities that I look up to, but they don't do nothing for your community. And then the one celebrities that step out there and try to do stuff for black people and speak and be happy, they assassinate them kind of um outspoken entertainers. Them them entertainers die quick. I don't know if it's an oath that they gotta take and you violate it and then they come and get you. The, the black entertainers that 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 stick out and, and stick up for black people and for black people cause, I love them. But the ones that don't care nothing about us, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to do nothing for the hood because they really can't. You know, they just slaves with money. You know, Jay-Z is a slave with money. And I don't count on slaves with money come and put money in our struggle and help us get together as a people. It's going to start from the grassroots of poor people. You know what I'm saying? Even when we start to move up, they come and, and get at us. That's why a lot of young people, man, I don't want to die like Malcolm. But see, in a war, that's what happens. I'm not going back away from the struggle. That's what happens. If you die um, speaking in behalf of your people, so what? That's the war. We at war. People die in war. Niggas scared to die. And I used to wonder why Tupac would say, are you scared to die? You know what I'm saying? Because he's saying, shit, it's on. It ain't over. And I felt the brother, you know, I hearing this music, man, it ain't time to, I don't care, we up against all lies. I, I understood against all lies. We up against a machine that's, that's, that's stronger than us, but that don't give you a convenient excuse to back away from struggle. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get off into the show, man, because I don't want to hold y'all up, man. But dig, man, uh... I saw this video, man. I got to show it to y'all, man. It's crazy, man. I just want y'all to look at it, and then I'm going to give my intake on it. Something that I always knew, I just wanted somebody else to verify, because I'm always labeled as um, conspiracy theorists, all that old crazy stuff. I see the truth. My third eye open. I see what I see. It. It's so clear to me. And I'm just tripping off of people around me. They can't see it. They, you know, they eat too much chitlins or something. It can, it got to be in the diet. It got to be in the diet. It's got to be in the diet. Because if you read even the religious text, it says do not consume this particular animal. You know, I think the meats that we eat, and the way that we eat sometimes clog up what we need to be seeing. We can't see. I don't know. Because it's like you got to dumb down your knowledge around certain people. You feel me? And then, you know, for you know it, when you get around a certain people, y'all knowledge become indifferences. Y'all get to arguing and stuff. And the people don't call you no more after that. They said, this dude right here too deep. He's a conspiracy theorist. You, you'll be a lonely motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? But then, uh, check this video out, man. I, I ain't going to hold y'all up no more. I just want y'all to check this video out. Then, you know, y'all give me y'all analysis. I'm going to give y'all my analysis. Y'all know that. And, and to clear the air, okay? Nobody, if, I didn't know nothing called African-American. Until I came to America, before that, when we were in Egypt, okay? When we were in Egypt, when we did our papers, when we was about to come to America, yes, they take you through sessions of understanding America and American life and the inhabitants of America, okay? Back home, we just know the Red Indians. We just know the Red Indians, okay? And then we know the white people of America. That's it. Two races, okay? But when you're going through the sessions of coming to America, especially from Egypt, they tell you later on they they put you in a room and you have to watch a video that and then they introduce you the african-american race okay 
Don't come blaming us Africans for how they portray you guys, okay? The, as soon as you learn about African American race, at the same time you learn about 911, okay? This is a white man. This is how they train people who come to America. That's when you're shocked about this unknown race that they talked about. But they don't tell people, oh, these are from slaves, oh, you know, uh, slavery, all that stuff. Okay. They just tell you these people, they steal. They, you show, they show people videos. Be mad at the white man. Any African can tell you when you're going through pro process of coming to America, they show you a video. They show you a video of a, a black man with a white t-shirt, blue jeans, walking around the neighborhood. And as soon as the white, the black man keep walking, maybe the third time, then you call 911 and a white officer will come through. Okay. Because then they show you these people, they steal drug dealers. They kill each other, blah, blah, blah. So this like a warning. Okay. They warn people about this race that you're about to come, uh, an encounter in America, okay? But besides that, nobody knows about the African American race, okay? Furthermore, when you start going to school here, then Kunta Kinte, history, and stuff like that, then you learn about the slavery, okay? Before that, no, no such thing as African American existed, okay? So African American is the, it, it's a group of people that has been kept, kept very hidden in, in America, okay, by the white men, by the slave owners. They kept that very hidden and they introduced you guys very vicious, okay? Drug dealers, killing each other, gang banging, all this stuff. They're not supposed to be trusted. They walk around your house the third time, call the police, and then the police come and then the police will handcuff, um, the black guy. And that's how they introduce you guys to us, okay? But some of us, we, we know, we know the difference and stuff. And then later on, you start to learn. You start to learn what really happened. Okay. And, and that's what happened. What the hell? We don't know any of that stuff. We know the red Indians and we know white Europeans. Oh, what y'all thought? I was going to catch it. Oh, I caught it. Which you, which I think I'm talking about. Cause I know y'all say, Oh man. So to see the fucked up at, at the beginning of this video, I bet you y'all go say that. A coward dies a thousand deaths, and a soldier dies but once. Y'all caught that shit. You feel me? But listen, y'all see that? I always thought and always knew that when the Africans come over here, they're like programmed. See, when you can see, you can see that your people are stuck in the um a sunken place. Like the brother that was in, uh, was that Get Out? Yeah, I think that was Get Out where they was um these rich people and they had a white female tricking brothers out to the neighborhood. Is that is is that Get Out? I believe that's so. Uh, oh yeah, it is Get Out. And uh, they were stealing body parts and transferring consciousness and, and and mental powers and shit. You, you y'all see that shit? That's the shit they doing now for real. Y'all think it's y'all think it's man. Listen, man, y'all think it's a game. But listen, I'm just saying, people that came come from Africa, you can see them in that mind state. There's an African now. When you go in the store with him, you just the vibe. He's in the Arab store. I went in there today. Just the vibe from him. He's like robot like. He's under spell. They teach the brothers and sisters when they come over here that we ain't nothing. Until some Africans, you know, to come over here that already know this is bullshit. I'm just trying to get over in this country. You know what I'm saying? You got Africans to come over here. They know they lying. But the majority of them Africans, and it, it goes both ways. I just seen a video today, a video, a hating ass video by a brother. It's a sister, you know, you know how they chop up the videos and stuff. It's a sister speaking and she trying to get brothers and sisters to go to Ghana. Then her video cut straight off. Then this young brother come in like, they better have running water over there. They better have the internet. Um, he said, anyway, I heard that Africans don't like blacks no way. And, why would I leave this racist country and go over there? Listen here, man. 
Negroes, niggas don't like niggas no matter where we at. You got niggas that live in England that don't like black people in England. So that's Africans don't like Africans. We want people. So that's nothing new to me. Y'all do not tell me nothing new. All I'm saying is the white man program them before they come into this country. They go through a class. They see a tape, the old VCR tape, boom, watch this. You feel me? We the same people. I'm not no Indian. I don't want to hear about no Indian. Because black people are the original people. We all come from the continent. When that when that uh Asian dude did that top secret DNA, see, y'all believe in the Asian DNA. He did his DNA. He had an African parent. A light-skinned Asian had an African parent. Oh, I know y'all think the DNA is tainted. So when you uh, is up, up on some type of court order to give up your DNA, and they say that baby is yours. You said the baby ain't, but they could determine it by DNA. See, you could determine it by the way the baby look, but you need that DNA to see if we share the same blood. DNA work because we started the science. Black people started the science, so it's work. You don't trust the science. If you want to find out if you related to someone, all I got to do is take the DNA from that mother. The mother holds 98% of the DNA. What I'm saying, a baby shares 98% woo, of the mother's DNA. I better look at the black woman a little bit more deeper. Because a man, he, in this Western society, the, the white man, he just didn't belittle the woman's attributes, especially in their religion, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Where's the woman at? You feel what I'm saying? Some, some, Something ain't right. If the baby has 98% of the woman's DNA, something's real deep about that. It's something deep about that. You know, um... The man may determine the sex, you know, of the child. You feel what I'm saying? But a woman carries a baby for nine months. I'm getting off course, but you know, it just it just, you know, just explosive information, man. That's that, you know, we live in this Western society and brothers and sisters just can't see. You know, you gotta put your woman on the side with you, King. She can't rule in the back. She can't be underneath you. Y'all gotta rule on side by side. Because if it don't be for the woman, you know, I wouldn't be. I share 98% of my mama DNA. Man, that's God, man. What are you talking about? It's a little bit deeper than this Western society. Christianity and Islam, the woman is up underneath. In, 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 in the Middle East, the woman got to pray outside while the man pray on the rug. So that's why the world's so fucked up. You know, then they trying to bring feminine, the feminine, uh, the feminine vibration or the feminine aspects through the men. You notice a backwards as society. You can only have the feminine aspect with that woman. You feel you bring her aspects to the work. All you gotta do, all the world gotta do is, is is uphold the woman a little bit more higher than how we, you know, look at her now. If we hold the woman up a little bit more higher, watch things in the universe where we act, especially for us black people. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I did. It is, it is definitive. It's a definitive motive, man, why the European keep black people uh, ignorant, brainwashed. People, people who are brainwashed are easily to be misled. They easy to be misled. How in the hell me and you look alike and we hate each other? because we both from two different countries. And the slave trade did happen for those new uh, conservatives and these new Negroes who said they'd be studying, they want to be Indian. Boy, listen, on the coast of them waters, man, I'm dropping it tonight. I just got to bring y'all up to speed, man. You know, this African and African relationship, 
It's deep. I love the continent of Africa. I'm going to the continent of Africa. I'm going to go to Ghana. I get my money right. I'm going to Ghana, man. I'm going to Ghana. I'm going to visit the slave dungeons that exist on the coast of Africa, West Africa. They got about 30 to 40 industrial complex. Look like penitentiaries where they bought our people. You know, they took the people and put them in those uh in those houses, those big ass penitentiary complexes where they housed our brothers and sisters in, waiting on the slave ships to come. You feel what I'm saying? You got motherfucking slave masters over there that was the jailers beating and killing our people inside. These was like big mass penitentiaries, man, all on the coast of Africa. And these niggas over in this country talking about slavery didn't ex exist. Sla Nobody was born over here across both. They made money. This was machine was built off slavery. What the fuck is these Negroes talking about? These Negroes are being paid. These niggas are agents. I don't give a fuck. They FBI agents, nigga. All these new Indian niggas, man. We one people. I got love for you people in Africa. I know you may hate me. It's some Africans over there that love me. I ain't stupid. I see the videos of the Africans who love Africans, want us to come back. It's some Africans over there that apologize for their ancestors who enslaved us. And I say, you know what? If we're going to forgive some people, we're going to forgive our own people. If that nation, like Nigeria, didn't apologize, South Africa didn't apologize, all the countries that participated in the slave trade, majority of them have apologized and recognized that they did it, that their ancestors did it. But you know what happened? They came back and got their ancestors. So that's the whole complex about the thing. If we as people see that the, some of our people who sold us in slavery later on down the line, that slave motherfucking hunter came back and got them and colonized their motherfucking country. The Africa is under colonization right now. They carved this motherfucker up in 1885 at the Berlin Conference. How the hell did we enemies? And it's only one motherfucking vagabond that's our motherfucking enemies. And that's why I got the FBI out there in front of my house because they know I'm real. Dane Calloway ain't got the FBI on him. You know why Dane Calloway? He got a lot of motherfucking Negroes fool. I'm talking about that nigga Dane Calloway with that motherfucking Indian woo, rain dance shit. Listen, man, it's simple. Anybody has sex where our people turn black. That's how the Cherokee became black. The Cherokee enslaved black people, man. The, the, the Mongoloid Cherokee took on the slave attribute of this because he wanted to be white. That red dude, man, this shit is deep. But you heard what she said. Only thing she heard about is red Indians Red motherfuckers, which did exist, they came 16,000 years ago. Africans was already here. Maritime, nigga. We was maritime on that sea. I know the history, thanks to John Henry Clark. Them the motherfuckers I follow. I ain't gonna call my ancestors motherfucker, but I'm just hype. John Henry Clark, oh my God. Y'all gotta read those books. Get John Henry Clark, Ivor Van Sertum. You feel me? Ivan Van Sertum and you know uh you uh you, Yusuf uh Joseph uh Benjamin Yakahana, you know, you know, them the them the my top three right there. It's a whole ace hilder, ace a hilder. It's a bunch of them though. Um, um William Chancellor, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of them. These brothers here, all you gotta go back and deal with the people who've been studying since the 50s and the 60s. All the way up to their death, they never stop. Oh, uh, Ranuku Rashidi, he just passed in 2014, I think. I'm not for sure. It's recently to me, because I thought he was still alive. That that brother right there, he blew y'all out the water using Ivan Van Sertum 
um, knowledge that he went to Mexico and seen the old make heads, the Africans predate anybody who came to America after. So I don't want to hear no nigga talking about no Indian shit. It's true indeed that when the Indians had sex with black people, they turned black. You just look, just admit it. You love your Indian roots more than you love the African blood that run through your line, your bloodline. I wish you shut up though, cause we're trying to unite. You trying to um subtract. We need an army. We already up against these motherfuckers and you niggas coming out with this weird ass teaching. You know what I'm saying? And only motherfuckers getting likes and follows on YouTube is the dividers, the uh, counter revolutionaries. They are called counter revolutionaries. They are counter, all these channels thriving and they counter revolutionary. But I'm coming with that Pan African, Pan African unite. You know what I'm saying? We unite. So, motherfuckers in Africa. Are colonized mentally. You don't when the when the after after the Berlin conference when they went over there and, and chopped Africa up because they said at this conference I think about for about a week they sat down how they was going. This happened in Berlin. I'm, I'm telling you, America they had their little ass there. All the Europeans sat down and carved. You know how you cut a pizza. This is for you. This is for you in Africa. Big ass pizza. You could put America in the middle of motherfucking Africa and lose it, and they cut that shit up. And ever since they cut it up, they've been colonizing. And they always put a house Negro in, in projection, and, and, and he assaults and kills his own people. So don't blame Africans over in this country. We were sold by them same motherfuckers that y'all having problems with over in Africa. I reached my hand out to my brothers and sisters in Africa, I love y'all. All my Pan-Africans in Brazil, I love y'all. All my Pan-Africans around the globe, my Pan-Africans in Haiti, my Pan-Africans in Jamaica, my Pan-Africans in England, my Pan-Africans in Canada. That's what's up. We got the real click. We got the shit that was shut shit down. Cause we ain't doing it. We doing it out of love for the people. See, a lot of motherfuckers will do it out of love for the people. They just want some money. True indeed. I'm on here to try to get monetized because I, I don't work. I can't work for the man. I just can't work for it. I tried that. I'm out the streets. I'm grinding on this. And I love it. You know, I love it. This is what I like to do. You feel what I'm saying? So the sister, I don't think she hate us. She just want to us to know what they was putting down so we got to let the immigration um people know the people who want to be immigrated in a, integrated and 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 coming to this country and going to other countries from immigration be wise to teach the africans on that continent okay when y'all go through the program, you know that they're going to teach y'all to hate the African-Americans. And some of us are gangbangers. Some of us are dope dealers. But we ain't all dope dealers. It's more people. Just think it out. It's only a small. I'm come from that. It's only a small group of our people who do that crazy shit. The rest of the community looking at us like, them niggas great go to jail. The majority of people in the community Right now in my ghetto, they, they work. It's a small minority. I come from it, so motherfucker can't lie. I know. People in New York, it's a small little crazy. Our people in New York that do that, we are a small minority. So they lying to the sister. How do that shit get here? You know? Yeah, now, to say want to talk shit, you know. Ain't no motherfucking doubt. We know the government um, was down with Freeway Ricky when they entrapped Freeway Ricky. Yeah, he out now. The real Rick Ross. You read his book. You know his story. Oh, it's a conspiracy theory. 
We know Ronald Reagan and Bush made sure crack got here in the 80s. I was here in the 80s. I was in the ghetto in the 80s getting money. That was my glory days in my youth. When it first hit the ghetto, nigga, I was dead. Getting all that money, nigga. I was getting that motherfucking money because it just hit. It just hit. And those was my glory days. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you, you know, from a street level, but those was my stupid days. Because if I knew what I knew now, psh, nigga, I wouldn't have went to a motherfucking prison. You already living in the beast. Prison is inside that stomach of the beast. It could choose to spit you out. It could choose to kill you while you in there. That's a bad motherfucker. And you see racism up close. Motherfucker tell you, you crazy. Racism don't exist. Wait till your ass go to prison. Wait till them black cops go to prison for killing their brother down there in uh, Tennessee. Uh, watch. What, what's his name? Uh, Tyree Nichols. Uh, yeah, I did a video on that. On that. With, them, with them black police. They, hey, they broadcast when the black police got in trouble, didn't they? But I did a case, uh, opened up, I say a case, but I did a video on, uh, uh, what's the brother name in Mississippi, where it was six deputies stuck, a, um, uh, one of them beating batons up his butt. Yeah, for real. Water, uh, waterboard tactics, um, poor wine and beer, because they broke in their house. The police broke in their house. Talking about they were selling drugs. Uh, it was two brothers in there. They was it wasn't even no drug house, man. They beat these dudes up. Listen, the deputy put the gun in the guy's mouth and, and blew his mouth almost out. The bullet came out his jaw. They ain't broadcast that. It just happened for real. They got that shit to them, man. They got that shit silent, man. I'm gonna bring that back up. I think I did a video on that when I bought that shit back. I'm like, why is this not getting nationwide news? Hey, shout out to uh, new media and black media for exposing these wicked beefs. I just want to give a shout out to y'all, the real YouTubers that's down with Uniting, you know, and ain't nothing but a few of us. Everybody else is down to tear everybody down, looking for scandal. I don't do a lot, a lot of celebrity shit talk on here, man. I do just to prove my point about certain situations, how wicked the music industry is and, and, and things to that nature. But, uh, Y'all tell me what y'all think about this black woman, man. You know, um, how she educated us on how the um, immigration officers and American people, you know, deal with, you know, uh, people trying to come to America from Africa. Why you think, let me say this and then I'm going, why you think they tell lies like that to stop us from uniting? Because, you, you know, unification is like a bomb for black people. Black people organizers are real strong, you know. Martin Luther King was real strong because they was organized. That nation of Islam, whether you like them or not, they're strong because they organize black people. So we must get organized like them. We don't have to be part of them. We can fight with them, brothers. You know, what I'm saying I don't, I don't, I don't care what you belong to. I'm, I'm a Pan African. You know, what I'm saying I don't care if you're a Christian, Buddhist, believe in the sky, whatever your God is. If you're black. You can put that in the back, you know, and that's religion, that's personal, but we got one common goal, that's to get free from the beast. Peace, black power. Mash up them likes, share the video. Subscribe to the channel, y'all.